hello and welcome to one more video on microsoft excel in today's video we are going to learn how we can remove blank rows from a range of data using a combination of by rows and filter function in microsoft excel here i have this uh, range of data it's a balance sheet of a hypothetical company the Wooler academy this balance sheet has some blank rows like this row here and there are other rows also which are blank like this row here so some of the rows are blank i won't remove them there are a lot of techniques you can use you can do this uh, filtering and then copy and paste but the concept i will use here is an important concept in microsoft excel it will use by rows function which has been released recently by microsoft excel and there are some other concepts also you will learn along the way like you will learn the concept of double negatives and uh, things like that there are many important concepts in th this video i hope you will stick uh, to the end of this video so let me make uh, things simple for you uh, suppose this row here the first row of the uh, range that is this balance sheet this row has three cells cell a1 b1 and c1 since only one of these cells contains value i will evaluate all these three cells if cell a1 for example contains a value it will evaluate to true and if it doesn't contain a, any values it will evaluate to false so the concept is simple equal to this row here if it is not empty i will simply hit enter it will return three values it will spill three values because it is testing three cells and it's a dynamic array function it will return all these three values and spill them across that means first cell has a value it will evaluate to true second cell hasn't any value it will evaluate to false and third cell also hasn't any values that means that cell also will evaluate to false there is an important technique in microsoft excel to convert boolean values that means these true and false values into binary values that technique converts a true to one and a false to zero that is uh, simple just type double negative here at the beginning of this formula close this in parenthesis close it in brackets hit enter on the keyboard now we have these values in terms of ones and zeros now i will drag this formula down till the end of this range it will uh, spill these values across since i have to check only blank rows i will test whether it has a value of 0 or greater than 0 that means i can sum these values here because if there are all the th these three cells are blank they all will have zero values and when we sum all of them all the three cells it will still evaluate to true sorry it will still evaluate to zero and if all of them contain one uh, values that means there will be three ones and that will evaluate to three so let me sum these values here so that the result is in a single cell close the sum function hit enter on the keyboard then i will drag this formula down so i have these values in terms of uh, these values one two zero now the concept is simple to remove these blank cells i have to filter these zeros out i have to filter the zeros out you can see this uh, row here since it is blank it has a corresponding value of zero here on the right similarly for this all, uh, row also it is blank it has a corresponding value of zero now since i had to drag this formula down across down till the end of this range to get these values ones in terms of ones and zeros i can achieve the same result using the by row function the by row function is a lambda helper function which has been uh, recently released by microsoft and it is useful not just in this scenario but in a lot of other scenarios so it is an important function let me use by row function here the first argument for the by row function is the array this is my array here i will press on the first cell control shift right arrow on the keyboard then control shift down arrow on the keyboard 
then to go to back to the point where I was typing the formula I will press control and backspace on the keyboard it will bring me back to the cell in which I was typing the formula I will type a comma here then I have to define enter a function since it's a lambda helper function it takes lambda as value so I will use lambda function here for lambda I have to define a parameter I will define the parameter as row I can name it the way I like but since lambda takes row in this case it takes one row as value I will name this as row the by rows function is simple it uh, the the range which you input to the by rows function that is this range a1 through c42 this range is uh, spilled into rows and those rows are entered as arguments to the lambda function so this is the logic behind the by rows function now what i will do is i will use the same logic which i did earlier oh, for this uh, this row here I will use a sum function then double negative then earlier I uh, entered the uh, row directly but this time I will use this parameter row which I defined it earlier for the lambda function row is not equal to empty then close row then close the sum function then I will close the lambda function then I will close the by rows function that means I have to enter four parentheses, four brackets at the end of this function. I will hit enter on the keyboard. It will spill these values down till the end of this uh, till the end of this range. Same result using two different functions. Since I have to eliminate blank rows, that means I have to filter out uh, those those uh, rows which contain a value of zero here that means I can use the filter function so let me use the filter function here equal to filter the array is this here control shift right and control shift down arrow on the keyboard and control backspace again as I did earlier comma for include I will use the by rows function by row same uh, f uh, formula same function as I did earlier by row array array is this here comma function is lambda argument is row then sum function double negative row not equal to empty close row close the sum function close the lambda function then close the by rows function then close the filter function I will hit enter on the keyboard as soon as I hit enter on the keyboard the values are spilled across these rows and columns now you can see those those rows which contain a value of 0 here those rows have been excluded this range doesn't contain any blank rows all the blank rows have been eliminated from this range now notice the result this range here on the right it hasn't as many rows as the earlier range on the left here so this is how you can you can remove blank rows from a range of cells using the by row using a combination of filter and by rows function in microsoft excel so i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content on this channel kindly hit that subscribe button and finally, I have included that link to download the practice workbook. It is in the description. If you want me to make videos on any other topic, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching.